Therefore, my beloved and longed-for brethren, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. Philippians 4.1 Christ our strength. It is evident throughout this epistle that Paul was intimately attached to the believers at Philippi, and his heart was filled with joy as he wrote to them. He encouraged them to stand fast in the Lord, and again reminded them to rejoice in the Lord always. Verse 4 Paul knew, however, that life is not always easy, for cares and anxious moments easily overtake us, and our peace and joy seem to disappear. Is there no help for us then? Yes, we have a wonderful resource, and here it is. In everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Verse 6 to 7. Have you ever tried this? I know that it works very well. As we pour out our hearts to our God and Father and tell Him our troubles, He answers by restoring us again, giving His sweet peace and leading us on in the pathway of faith. Next, the Apostle Paul reminds the Philippians that what we think about is very important. We need to guard our minds and fill them with good things. Whatever is true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of good report, virtuous and praiseworthy, verse 8. There is plenty here to keep our minds in perfect peace, and we are told to meditate on these things. There is no room left then for anxious thought. In verse 7, we find the peace of God, and now in verse 9, we meet the God of peace. He will be with you. Surely we need strength from above to go on day by day in our pathway here on earth. Paul found that too, and he wrote these words, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, verse 13. And again, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus, verse 19. He is indeed our strength, Jacob Redekop.